Hey everyone, it's Chris Silvey with HealthyConsumer.com. In the next five to eight minutes, we're gonna discuss biofilms. What are they and how are they related to your well-being? I think we live in a fascinating time right now when the information age is expanding exponentially and we're learning so much about the human body. One of the most fascinating things that is in the development of microbiology right now is the idea of the microbiome. So maybe you've heard of the microbiome before. It's essentially the collection of organisms that make up your entire gut lining and basically who you are. It influences our emotions, it influences our well-being in terms of our overall health and our immune system, and many hormonal type factors that are still poorly understood and they're being researched. Biggest challenges that we're facing in modern medicine and even other philosophies of healing is how do we address chronic infections? And they're becoming more and more frequent because of the things that we're doing to the environment through confined animal feeding operations, the overuse of antibiotics, we're developing antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria and other organisms which are absolutely life-threatening. In fact, there are certain types of bacteria, um, Pseudomonas, there's a subspecies of that in the hospital environments that has mortality rates up to 65% according to some studies. How is it that these organisms are so well adapted that they can quickly find their way up against any type of antibiotic or other antimicrobial that we throw at them? Well, research has provided a lot of insight into that recently, and the answer appears to be biofilms. So what are biofilms? Biofilms are essentially an aggregate of microorganisms that are surrounded by a thick matrix of proteins, polymerase, and other substances. Ooh, that's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Well, in a more simple term, you could think of it like a fried egg, okay? Um, and in the middle of that, we have the yolk, and then on the outsides, it would be the, the egg white that has been cooked and has some little frayed edges. In the center of that, the egg yolk would be an infection or a microorganism of some kind, maybe wanted or unwanted. And that organism is well protected by that egg white, that outer thick wall that cannot be penetrated or even sensed by antibiotics. So in a way, these can trick the immune system Another way of thinking about that is if you've seen maybe like uh, certain things that adhere like an algae or a thick mucousy type thing on the side of a fish tank or a rock out in a stream somewhere. Those are also types of biofilms. So organisms find ways to attach themselves to surfaces and they start to build around it this thick protective barrier wherein they can do whatever they want in there and be safe from external threats. You could think of it kind of like a castle wall too. It's protected from external invaders. The, in the invaders don't know that the infection is there because they're protected by this castle wall. Needless to say, this is a very challenging thing to address for many people. And what makes it even more interesting is the organisms that are inside these biofilms are usually not very friendly to us. Not always, but usually not very friendly and are, are very difficult to treat. And they can communicate with each other through a new, um, newly discovered form of communication known as quorum sensing. So what do we do to treat this? We throw more antibiotics at it. And does that help? Of course not. Because it, it doesn't matter what dosage you throw at it. If, if it can't be detected by the immune system, it doesn't matter the level of antibiotics or other antimicrobials. If you look on your screen right now, I'm showing you an image of a formation of a biofilm and how it's going through its maturation process, so how it's growing. And as you see, it starts out as a few organisms that, that cling on to a surface, and then they start to grow and expand. And it's like a, it's a community of organisms that can coexist within this biofilm. On a more personal note, I've dealt with chronic sinusitis for a long time. I've found much more effective strategies over the years. And I personally believe that these are a big factor in chronic sinusitis. And I think you could see that a lot of dentists would agree with this that are keeping up on biofilm research. And then also many other chronic diseases as well, particularly 
Lyme disease. If you're interested in learning more about biofilms, I recommend checking out Dr. James Schaller's book, Combating Biofilms, Why Your Antibiotics and Antifungals Fail. An excellent resource. In addition, here are four of my favorite top biofilm busters, that is, what can help to break open the biofilms so you can deal with the infection appropriately. My number one would be grapefruit seed extract, not to be confused with grape seed extract. Similar properties, but grapefruit seed extract has been shown in a number of small studies to have very strong biofilm busting properties. My number two would be garlic, which has been used for millennia. It now has been shown in the research to have very strong antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral properties and even more recently looking into the potential of biofilm busting properties. So a very worthy contender for dealing with biofilms. A product that I've been very impressed with lately is Sintol AMD by Arthur Andrew Medical. It is a combination of proteolytic enzymes which helps to break down the biofilms and is particularly uh, aimed at candida biofilms, but may help in other areas as well. Essential oils, particularly clove bud oil, would be my last recommendation as an option for biofilm busting. And uh, clove bud oil contains a component called eugenol, and eugenol has been shown in a number of studies now to be very effective against biofilms, and just like the Sintol, particularly candida biofilms. Check out the article that's associated with this in the description below, and it has all my references for these claims. And I do want to say, however, though, that this is not medical advice. Please always check with your healthcare practitioner before taking any supplements or changing any of your regimens. I hope you found this video helpful. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel, like the video below, and visit www.healthyconsumer.com for more helpful articles such as this one. One last thing that I should note is be aware if you break open biofilms, whatever was inside of that is now free to rain. So be sure to be appropriately equipped to deal with those infections once you start opening up biofilms.